Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung and for this video we're going to be looking at the human heart model. This is one of the human heart models that we have in the lab. We have another one that's a little bit larger. The first thing I'll do is uh, as many of the external structures as I can. This is the superior vena cava. The inferior vena cava is directly below it and it just basically shows the opening to it. So that's inferior vena cava. Those two lead to the right atrium, which is here. If I hold the heart so that it faces forward, there's the right atrium. Um, staying external, this is the pulmonary trunk. This is the aorta. This would be ascending aorta. This would be the aortic arch, and then back here would be the descending aorta. But if you just remember the whole thing is the aorta, you're doing pretty good. This would be the left pulmonary artery. Notice that the pulmonary arteries branch off of the pulmonary trunk. The right pulmonary artery is here. Well, arteries, there's two of them. So this is the right pulmonary artery. Or these are the right pulmonary arteries. Uh, pulmonary veins, they're red. This is left pulmonary veins. And this is right pulmonary veins important to get this, these arteries are blue because they have deoxygenated blood. <coughs> Excuse me. These arteries are coming being pumped from the right side of the heart and that blood has just come from the body so it's deoxygenated and now it's being pumped out here to the lungs to get oxygen. These veins are red because they just came from the lungs with oxygen and they're coming back into the heart so the pulmonary veins are red. This makes up what's called the pulmonary circuit. Blood that's going to and from the lungs is part of what's called the pulmonary circuit. It leaves the heart deoxygenated through the arteries and comes back to the heart oxygenated from the lungs, oxygenated into the pulmonary veins. Uh, the chambers you can see from the outside, I've done right atrium, whoops, I've done right atrium already. Here's left atrium, and then right ventricle and left ventricle. Let's look at the inside. And the way I'm going to do, the way I will do this is I'm going to walk through, imagining we're looking at a single red blood cell that's going to come originally from the body and then travel through the heart. I find that that is one of the best ways to learn the anatomy because you learn the anatomy and you learn it in a sequ sequential manner while at the same time you learn the, um, the flow of blood through the heart which is also important. So let's say we're a red blood cell coming down maybe from the head. We would come down here through the superior vena cava. If we were coming from the lower parts of the body we'd come through the inferior vena cava in both cases we would end up in the right atrium. From the right atrium that red blood cell would flow through this valve. This is the right atrioventricular valve or the tricuspid valve. That blood cell would flow through this valve and into this chamber which is the right ventricle. Then this chamber would contract as the entire uh, myocardium of the ventricles contracts and it would push that blood up here through this valve called the semilunar valve and into, excuse me, it's called the pulmonary semilunar valve and into the pulmonary trunk. From the pulmonary trunk that blood cell would either go through the left pulmonary artery or the right pulmonary arteries into the lungs to get oxygen and it would return from the lungs 
through the pulmonary veins, either on this side or the pulmonary veins on this side, into the left atrium. From the left atrium, that blood cell would move through this valve, which is called the bicuspid valve, or the left atrial ventricular valve, and into the left ventricle. Then this ventricle would contract, and it would push the blood through the aortic semilunar valve, which is in here, and into the aorta. The aorta would then carry that blood through various arteries to the rest of the body. Notice that we're back where we started, to the body. And we could start all over again, starting with the superior and inferior vena cava. That's the way I recommend learning uh, the major parts of the heart as well as the flow of blood through the heart.